What's up guys, Blizzcraft here, and we're gonna be doing our homework. Um, so yeah, let's just, just get started with it. I'm actually, I've actually done quite a bit of progress here. I've started my introduction, and uh, my first paragraph, and now we're talking about the creative process behind making our artwork. Did I mention this was for art class? Now that I mentioned that, let's do this. Um, so I'm trying to remember what I did. Because I did this around four weeks ago, and we're only just writing about it now. So, my memory's a bit foggy on how I actually did this. But as you can see here, um, teacher's, teacher's actually nice enough to provide us uh, some help here. Damn, I'm really stalling for time here. Um, damn, what do I do? What do I do? Um, so I trace them on another, okay, so, <coughs> <coughs> so if you guys don't know what cubism art is, it's like, it's, how do I put this into words, uh, just shut up, uh, how do I put this into words, um, so like, so like, you get, you get some pictures, you draw some pictures, and then, damn, I actually can't speak English. Damn. Uh, so you you draw some you draw some um, you. <sighs> it's 10 p.m. guys. It's 10:20. You, I, I. Damn, I'm gonna do a lot of editing out here. Uh, how do I make this video less awkward? Uh, so, so you so you draw so you draw some things, right? And then. No, you draw two things. Actually, no, you draw quite a bit. So you get two pieces of paper, you draw on them, and then you trace them on one piece of paper. And then they overlap. So it's like, you know, oh, probably easier if I just search it up. Alright, so. So you get these things, right? So this is, this kind of looks like what I did. Except there weren't that many apples. And the apples were not that red, and they were plastic and not real. But this is kind of, kind of look, kind of what I did. So they had like multiple. So you see these like lines that go over them, or well, there's lines. Okay, there's lines, and and they have colors. Wait, no, they make up shapes, and th the shapes are colored in. So yeah, that's basically what cube. Wait, no, I just found a better one. Yeah, this is basically what I did, except probably a lot better than this, if I say so myself. Oh wait, yeah, something like this. So they overlap. You don't care about your pr um. You don't have to care about uh perspective here. It's you just go hog wild with it with the lines, so they can go over each other and they have different. To make these cool little shapes in between that you color in. So yeah, that's that's what I did with oil pastels. What is this song? Uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to put that into words now, and that's that's my that's the problem with essays and writing them. See, English isn't my first language, so how do I say this in English? Not even in my native language, I'm fluent. My first ever language, which is Filipino. I can't even speak it at all. So I'm stuck with English, which I'm sort of fluent in, but also I mess up a lot. So... That's a problem when speaking. But anyway... Um... Hmm. I don't know if this is the right sentence to be using here. Is this worded correctly? Damn, I really need Grammarly. Grammarly can help. Whatever the fuck it says. I mean, whatever the flip it says. Um. So I traced them on another piece of A3 paper. Should I have added that? Sure. Uh, hmm. I feel like this sentence doesn't properly capture what I did. Like, if you had no idea what I did, and you read the sentence, you just go like, 
Okay, cool. You trace them on another piece of A3 paper. I bet they're, they'd be picturing something different. Would they? I'm stuck. I am stuck. And overlapped the lines. Is that the right way to be saying this? I traced them on another piece of A3 paper and overlapped the lines. Huh. To make shapes. What am I saying? That's not right. Mm. Hmm. See, if this was any other student, I'd be blazing through this already. If I was actually good at writing, I'd be going like this on my keyboard. Except instead of it would be actual words. So let's get rid of all this and actually put our heads down and think of words. Overlap the lines. Okay, cool. What does that result in? To make a fragmented look. Yes, but I already used the word fragmented somewhere here. Have I? Yes, I have. To create a fragmented and abstract effect. If I use that word again, the teacher's gonna pick up on my my stupidness. It's gonna find out that I'm not actually that smart. Uh, so I don't want to use the word fragmented twice. But also, if I do then I'd get over this section and move on to the next paragraph but also it has to be perfect and I need that A but also that's hard hmm what do I do here okay well you know what I'm actually gonna hmm this video is going nowhere, this is a bad idea. But, but, what if, what if I didn't do homework? What if, no, I can't do this. I have to put my head down. I need to pass. I don't wanna, I don't wanna not pass. But also, like, this is just sitting here. Dark Souls isn't gonna play itself. But also, homework isn't gonna work itself. Oh my god. Well, <clears throat> hope you guys liked that video. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stop it here.